Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Gadda. Today in this video, we are going to see how we can generate the key pair using OpenSSL. There is a video on my channel where I have discussed about how you can install the OpenSSL on window. So if you are new to the OpenSSL, uh, just install the OpenSSL first and then you can generate the key pair out of OpenSSL using some commands. So there is a command through which we can generate the key pair using OpenSSL and then we can extract out the public and private key through a command from the generated key pairs. So this is the video's agenda. We are going to generate the OpenSSL key pair. The requirement uh, for this video is you should have installed the OpenSSL in your system. So let's get started. Uh, let me try to open a command prompt and there we'll try to run few of the commands and then we'll try to generate the key pair from OpenSSL. So just open a command prompt and uh, let me try to first check the OpenSSL version. So OpenSSL version. So here you can see that we have uh, OpenSSL 3.3.0 installed in our system. Okay. And now coming to the commands, I already have written down this command. So you can see that the command to generate the key pair using RSA algorithm is OpenSSL gen p key minus algorithm is RSA and then out private key dot PM. And if you want to uh, pass a pass phrase, then you can use this minus AES 256. So this when you are going to use this uh, additional term inside your command, it will ask you for the password for your uh, private key. When you're going to use your private key, it will ask for the pass phrase or you can say the password. And if you want to avoid this out, what you can do is uh, you can remove this term and then directly you can run the uh, all other commands. Okay, removing this minus AES 256. In that case, it will not ask you for the passphrase and then you can use your private and the public key wherever you want without the passphrase. And the second command is to extract out the public key out of the private key. Okay. So this is, uh, these are the commands. Now let me try to first uh, run this command and try to uh, generate the private key first. So here you can come up and then just try to, uh, wherever you want to generate this, just go there at the particular location and then try to run this command. So uh, let me try to create a folder here and then there I will uh, generate that particular command or keys you can say, okay. So, let's say I'm inside the window and inside C drive, let me try to create one uh, folder. Let's say it is uh, something like open SSL key pair. And here just uh, let me remove this command. Let me point to that particular location and then we can uh, generate the key pair inside that folder. Okay. So we are good. Now coming back to the commands, let me try to copy this command and then go to the command prompt and just enter it out. So here you can see that it has generated the key private key for you, but it will ask you for the passphrase. So you have to provide a passphrase here. So you can provide anything, any password that you want to provide here. And just remember that you need that password when you are going to use the private key. And if you want to generate uh, this private key without any passphrase, then you can remove this uh, minus AES 256 term and then you are good. It will, it will not ask for the passphrase. Now let me try to provide the passphrase here and then enter. Again, it will ask for verifying that passphrase. Okay, uh, now we are good. Now, if you'll go to this particular folder, you will find that uh, your private key is generated. So let me try to go there and open it out. And here you can see that we have the private key. If you'll open up this private key, uh, you will get this private key here. Okay. And then this private key you can use. But again, let me remind you that you need to uh, pass the passphrase when you're going to use this private key. Okay. So this is... Uh, how you can generate the private key. Now from this private key, we are going to generate the public key. So the command, other command was open RSA minus P pub out 
minus private key dot pm out public key. So from this private key, we are going to uh, extract out the public key. So just copy this command, go there to the command prompt and enter it out and then hit it. Again, it will ask the passphrase that you have provided for the private key generation. So just provide that. And you can see that it is saying writing RSA key. And now I think your public is also generated inside that folder. So if you go there, you can see that public is also there. Open up this public key and then you can see the public is here. So this is how you can generate the private key and the public key in your OpenSSL, okay, through these commands. So this is about the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content. In the upcoming video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this private key and the public key and try to do an encryption and decryption using this private key and the public key. So this is about the video, guys. Please support the channel. Please subscribe the channel. Thanks.